Hey guys, this is Max and today I want to take you behind the scenes uh, and give you some insight into a long time project that I'm currently working on and that is entitled Bedroom Portraits. And the idea is to take images of completely different women from the very same spot with the very same camera, a Linhof Technica, a large format camera on Ilford HP5 and always developed in Kodak D76. And then in the end have a series of images um, that look very similar but always feature a different model. And um, I, the idea for that came when I uh, recently purchased the Linof Technica and wanted to practice with it. And I wanted to do that in, in a controlled environment, so I chose my bedroom where I already know the light and I always have natural light coming from outside through my window and um, to kind of practice in that situation first. And then that sparked the idea to do a series out of it and only take four images per model and then pick the best one that I want to publish in eventually. And I'm kind of in the middle of this long time project, so just let's take a look at how one of these images is produced and um, what I have so far. As some of you know, framing and focusing is particularly difficult on a large format camera. So you usually need some kind of dark cloth or in my case, a black t-shirt in order to surround yourself with darkness when framing and focusing. When it comes to framing, everything is upside down. So it's really difficult to do it correctly and it needs some practice in my opinion. And when it comes to focusing, of course, you're working with a wide open aperture, in this case 5.6, and you usually need to have some kind of magnifying glass in order to ensure you hit focus. And then you can finally insert your um, film holder. Um, you ideally did all your seti settings already at the on the lens, so setting it to, in my case, f8 the correct shutter speed, removing the dark slide, and then finally taking the shot. As already mentioned in the introduction, I'm using Kodak D76 for developing these Ilford HP5 films that were all rated at ISO 400, which also means that I developed them for 13 minutes, as you can see here, using the massive depth chart app, as many of you will do as well. And as I'm already into the Patterson tank system so far, I'm using the Mod 54 film processor for my 4x5 inch um, sheet film.
So I hope you enjoyed this glimpse at my long-term project that I'm currently working on. And please let us know if you're interested in seeing more about large format photography, especially portraits or also landscape. Just leave us a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, please also remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.